Hello, my fellow scientists and students. I'm here to talk to you guys today about creating graphs, and we're gonna use the data that we made from our last class to actually make this graph. So let's go back and look at the data that we found the other day. So when we had our little taste test, I asked you guys to say whether you liked the food or you did not. So let's count together how many kids like the food. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 students. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven students did not like the food that we tried during our taste test. Now, this information is really great to have, but what's another way that we could show this information? Well, we cre can create something called a bar graph. All right. So let's make this graph. So we want to have one bar of students that do like the food. And another bar of students that do not like the food. Alrighty. How many students like the food? Well, let's look back. 17 students. So let's label the numbers. We said 17 students liked the food. All right, let's color that in. And how many students did not like the food? Seven. So let's create seven. All right, now let's look at this. Which one is bigger? Is it the no section or the yes section? It's the yes section, great job. Now, let's see if we can represent the data in a different way. Right over here, I have two bags. On one of them, let's write yes. And the other, let's write no. Now, how many students liked the food? Well, let's look back at this graph. 17. So let's put 17 paper clips in here because we're using the paper clips to represent, represent our data. 17. Alrighty, now how many kids did not like the uh, food from our taste test? Seven. So let's put seven paper clips in our little baggie. Seven. Alrighty. And those are some fun ways of representing our da data. So. I would like you guys at home to do the same thing. You can draw it out on a piece of paper like I did my bar graph, or you guys can use materials that you find in your house to represent the numbers or the data that we collected when we did our taste test. Good luck, scientists.